Hello and welcome to Wine Week. As you know, I'm Brad Payton, but I'm here on location up in sunny Sydney with the weather's been very kind to us for a Wolf Blast vertical tasting of 35 years of the Wolf Blast Black Label. And with me, I have Chris Hatcher. Welcome, Chris. And also Wolf, the man himself, Wolf Blast. So welcome. Can you give us a bit of a rundown on what we've just experienced for the last two hours? Thanks, Brad. Yeah, we've uh, looked at 35 vintages from uh, 1973, and we're just launching our 2007 to celebrate Wolf's uh, birthday on uh, 2nd of September. So we looked back from 2007 back to the 73, and looked at you know the wines that Wolf created. You know, they're fantastic black labels. And Wolf, how is it for you sitting down and tasting through all of these wines in in one sitting, and, and the as, history of it all? As long as long as we have been participating to make the wine industry where it is today. Uh, that quality is the, the, the key point and uh, we are now have become the fourth biggest exporter in the world so if the black label has been part of the benchmark of what Australia can achieve I'm very happy with our technical team what has happened since 1973. Yeah, and it's, and it's an amazing run, 35 vintages. What was the, the original philosophy behind the black label? Because obviously you've got a number of different wines at different price points. What, what's the philosophy for the black label? Uh, we started with the colour combination because at the time in the 60s nobody knew very much about the uh, idea about grape varieties and wine regions. So I looked at the colours and everybody understood the colour and we started off with yellow brown and then uh, the grey label, the red label and when we wanted Jimmy Watson I had to get a different label and black label is of course the prestige uh, issue um, from, uh, from a colour point of view and this is how we created the black label. Yeah. And it's the best one in, in from, from, from creating during the vintage by the winemakers every year. Yeah. And Chris, we talked a little bit about the evolution. It, it's very much there is a house style there, but over time things have evolved a little as well. Oh, absolutely. I think that one of the things with any luxury goods, and particularly with wine and, and a famous brand like Wolf Blast, is to have a continuity style. I think it's a really important thing that people could taste a wine and know that it's black label just by the taste of it and uh, certainly it's evolved as as the wine industry has evolved since 73 we've got better fruit today we've got better equipment but the hallmark of the wine the the, the structure of the wine the softness uh, which wolf had back in 73 and was so successful in 73 we still carry that through to the modern wine so today there's less oak there's there's different characters in the wine but it still has that plushness and lovely velvet structure which wolf started back in 73 and now I have to finish by asking you both, uh, any personal favourites out of the lineup? Do you, going back over the, the few decades? Uh, going back into the 70s, of course, you know, as Chris has already indicated, it was a different style of wine which we're making in the 80s. Um, we have improved because we had better grape varieties. Um, but winning the Jimmy Watson four times in a row um, has established ourselves that uh, we're on the right course and have been... Being a winner probably over 4,000 awards at national and international wine shows and being the wine maker of the world three times. So if I think if the Black Label has participated to get us there where we are, good luck on the shareholders and good luck also for the wine drinkers. <laughs> yeah. And what about you, Chris? Yeah, my favourites out of the 70s, 76 was a fantastic wine. I really enjoyed that. Probably uh, probably the the more recent wines that I've been involved in, I really like 98 and probably 2002, 2004. All right, well, we're going to wrap up here, have a bite to eat, but uh, this magnificent sunny day and we've tasted some great wines. So thanks very much for your time, guys. Cheers. Life's, life's tough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> life's tough. Yeah.